All right, and over to the aquarium itself. Here you can see the custom lid I made out of high density polyethylene cutting board material, half inch thick, black. It's hinged with a stainless hinge, stainless hardware, stainless screw hardware, half inch. Use my router table with a trim bit to make sure that the pattern fit real nice. Really nice. I inverted the hinge here. You can see that it's inverted so the hinge is recessed here in a channel. The reason for that is the hinge won't buckle back on itself all the way 180 so it'll stop there so you can open it up and let it sit there. Nice, nice fit here. And then back here, this section here pulls out. There's a rabbit underneath here that locks that in. <clears throat> All right, and for the uh, intake and discharge, made it real simple here. I'm not even going to use a spray bar. This guy, when it sits in, it's slightly at an angle with the hose uh, hanging from it, but it's also about an inch and a half under the surface of the water. So it'll still make some uh, surface agitation, but not much, and it will go straight back to the front, deflect around the curve, and come down each side back into the inlet. I'm going to leave this inlet glass bottom back here. I'll explain what's going on here later, but this is real simple. Real simple, folks. There's that rabbit that I was talking about. Rabbit uh, joint. And then that comes off. This is the uh, current LED Plus fresh water uh, with remote. That's the uh, power to it. I'll explain here in a minute how the uh, LED is set up. 